Well hello, I'm doing some baseball stitch today and it's a nice decorative stitch to do. Very useful say if you have a hammer shaft and you want to protect a shaft area or particularly on an axe. I've seen a lot of people put leather collars on their axes and a baseball stitch for that looks very nice. I'm going to be doing my skiving knife so I want to give it a little bit softer handle to have when I'm using it. So I'm going to give it a leather wrap and I'm going to fix that on with baseball stitch. I should just add some people use um, baseball stitch for making containers going down the side of circular containers and again it can look very nice, it looks very nice on car steering wheels, upholstery and so forth. A bit like saddle stitch, I'll show you what I mean, but do as I'm doing it, think of shoelaces and doing up your shoelaces because I think that helps with the thinking. We'll get going. So this is a knife I just want to put a leather wrap around to make it a bit more comfortable to hold and I've got a little bit of off cut here of some quite nice veg tan leather. So first thing I need to do is obviously cut out a piece. I want to wrap a centre section. Marking out the various ways you can do this but obviously as it's a tapered knife I'm going to do it about there fold it over and this will give me a rough idea of the tapering shape. I'll then cut it slightly generously so that's my bit of lever I'm going to be using so I'm just going to mark down each side there the reason I'm doing that is I'm just going to spray some water down these lines to make it a bit easier to fold the leather. So I'm just using an ordinary spray pump bottle here and I'm just going to literally dribble a bit of water down that seam. Let's give that a little bit to soak in and start to manipulate it. Get a knife in position roughly. So I'll just start to tap that down with my nylon mallet and again I will just tap that down. So that's my lever roughly on there. What I will do next is I will trim it so that there is a tiny gap between the two bits of lever. So I'm just taking a little bit off here, not much. Gonna Just test that once again. Yeah, so that's what I'm broadly looking for there. I'm expecting when I start to sew that that the gap is only a millimetre, sixteenth inch, something like that. It will close in quite well. I'm a bit uneven top and bottom, so I'm just going to trim those, which I can do literally just by eye. So that's the shaping of the leather sleeve done and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark my stitch line each side and then I'm going to stamp some stitch holes. So I've got some dividers here. I want them to go across a bit so you get the decorative effect of the stitching so I'm going in more than I normally would. and also the stitches to an extent provide a bit of grip. I've got the divider points very roughly set at about four millimeters. Imperial I guess that's something like um, three sixteenths. There you are, so I've got myself a couple of guidelines now for the stitching and I'm just going to run down these with a stitching chisel to make some holes. If anything I'm going to lean the stitching chisel slightly so that the stitches start going around. I'm just running down these nylon mallet and I'll get my row of stitching holes. So that's my stitching holes ready. So I'm just taking some Ritz of Tiger Thread, which I quite like. 
but you could use any thread at all for this. It's worth having a bit of like colour contrast so that the stitching shows up a bit and it's also worth having a thread of reasonable thickness again just so that it shows up and gives some contrast. So I'm, I'm just using a 0.6mm thread on this. It's difficult to sort of estimate how much more than the length you want in terms of the thread but I'm reckoning it's going to be something like six times and I might be wrong thinking that. The thread's obviously got to go across each each way and back. Putting the thread through the needle. I'm using saddler's needles. These needles have uh, rounded points so they sort of don't get stuck in the leather which makes it a lot easier and again I'm just pulling the thread through and then I'm stabbing the thread with the point of the needle pulling it over and I'll pull it back like that and it locks it on so I've got two needles on a long bit of thread there you are and I can now start the stitching doesn't really matter which end I start with I always tend to think of this a bit like doing your shoelaces up as it's a very similar form of stitching so to start it, I'm just going to go through both holes and level up my needles. So I get my needles so I have the same length of thread on each needle. What I do now is taking my right needle, I'm just going to go over and under at an angle. I'll leave the threads a bit loose and then you can probably see a bit better what I'm doing. I'm taking the other needle, so I'm now taking my left needle, I'm going over the top and then under to get the next hole. So I'm just going through there, over here, under in there. And it is very much, as I say, like doing your shoelaces. There you are, it's the first bit done. I'll do the next one. So again, I'm back to my right needle. I'm going to go over the top of this surface and then under inside to the next hole. So there I go, over and then under. Pull that in and again with the left needle repeating the same idea as so over and then under. There we are. There you are, one's beginning to get the nice attractive effect. So I'm at the top now and all I'm going to do is sew in across each side and again this side. So I've just done literally like a, a closing off there and then what I'll do is I will tie a knot behind that and then just burn the ends over and melt the ends over then it won't come undone. This is a polyester braided thread so it actually takes the melting quite happily. Some people use a thread sap for that part and all I'll do is I'll just go down this and that just sinks all the stitches down a bit. Moment of truth Handle goes in, Gonna push that down as hard as I reasonably can, and that's fine. So that's um, given me a nice 
working handle to hold this tool. Uh, so that's on now, I've put it under a bit more pressure and it's a nice gives me a sort of softer side to hold on to the leather. Well there you have it, baseball stitch and a nice little leather sleeve on here, make it nice and comfortable when I'm doing my skiving. Nice and easy to hold it. So yeah, perhaps I should put it on some of my axes as well and give them little colours. Anyway, there you are. Baseball stitch, very straightforward. As I say, think of lacing up your shoes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye then. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I've got some fun things coming up. Lots of projects on the go at the moment. Bye then.